All right, so what we've got going on here is showing basically the same television channel. This is digital TV, obviously, and this is analog TV. It's the only analog television set that I have personal ownership of is this little guy right here, the Amtel 5-inch black and white TV. It runs on 12-volt power, so we're getting our 12-volt power out of our uh, cigarette lighter outlet here, powered off of a centralized power supply. Okay, goes in the back of the TV right there. We also have it tied into the antenna, which comes up across here. We have a splitter right here. This goes to the digital TV right here. And this goes to the analog TV. This goes right up to the antenna, which is right here. We have a uh, 300 ohm transformer on there. You can tell that I'm manhandling this antenna and we aren't having a whole lot of problems with reception. If I grab it like that, I'll short it out and the TV will complain. Maybe, or maybe not. But either way, we're splitting the signal and we're sending it to both TVs. Put that up there like that. All right. Right now we are watching WBRE TV from uh, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And the transmission is on RF channel 11. So WBRE used to be a UHF station. They were on channel 28 in the UHF days. So normally when you're an analog TV, you'd have to have this tuned to channel 28 on UHF. But they switch to RF channel 11 which means they're now on the VHF spectrum. So I have this TV tuned to VHF high, and we have her tuned to channel 11, which with these TVs, you can see 10, 12. So what we're gonna do is we'll detune it a little bit. Okay, there we're, you know, detuned somewhat. We'll go to channel 10. Oh, channel 11. That's probably channel 11 right there. Channel 12, snow, it's all snow. But you can tell that channel 11, there's a signal there, but it this TV has no freaking clue how to decode it, and it's actually just snow. Let's skim down a little bit. Let's span the spectrum here. There's some stuff going on. Let's put it on VHF low. We don't have any stations here on that spectrum, but let's just go down there. VHF high, back to VHF high. So that signal right there is basically what I would expect to be this TV station. So let's switch over to a UHF station. All right, so now we are tuned to WNEP TV. All right. WNEP used to be on channel 16 UHF. They are now on channel 21 UHF. So we have to tune our analog TV to 21. So I have it set to UHF down there on the side and all the way to the back. And we are between 14 and 30. We're gonna kinda go around here. You can see there's like maybe some RF right, right about here. Barely visible. But you can clearly tell this television, that looks the same as it did on WBRE right there. That's what you get trying to receive digital TV on an analog TV. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's just a lot of electromagnetic noise around channel 30 UHF. Who knows what that could be. Cell phones, something like that. Probably in the 500 megahertz or some range. I don't know. But WNEP would be right around here in the around 21 on the UHF spectrum because that's what FCC is telling us they broadcast at. 686 megahertz, actually. So, yeah, 686 megahertz. And I'm going to higher channels, which means those, these channels up here 
are a higher frequency, probably around 700 or 800 megahertz, which is about what my phone might be broadcasting on 4G. So, interesting stuff, right? And this is interference from that. UHF spectrum. Interesting thing about UHF is this TV actually goes all the way to channel 83. Nowadays, the UHF spectrum stops at channel 39 or 37 or some, one of those two channels. Um, in the 1980s, they actually decreased the UHF spectrum from 83 to like 69. They went from 69 to 52. And now they're down to like 37. So now the only UHF that's left is like down here. Because modern digital TV, instead of taking up 6 megahertz of bandwidth for one TV channel, it takes up a fraction of that. So this single TV station right here, WNEP, they have how many sub-channels? One, two, okay, they only have two, but WBRE has like four. Okay, let's go to 28. One, two... Three, four, and all that stuff is broadcast well within six megahertz of bandwidth versus the old school days of analog TV where the entire television channel took up full six megahertz. That's the magic of digital TV. It's an amazing advancement in technology. I'm probably going to stop it right there. But basically, we just try to display this and this TV. The only way I can make this TV work is to use a converter box to convert digital into analog. Or, the nice thing about this TV is we have inputs for audio and video. So we could actually just run audio and video into there from any source we want. Whether it's a converter box or a... Um, you know, VCR or anything we will, you know, video source, and Raspberry Pi or anything like that. This is battery operated TV too, so we could actually put D cell batteries in this thing if we wanted to, but nowadays it's like you might as well just run it off a 12 volt power pack. So that's the story. Like this, so I'm getting such good TV reception here. This, this antenna is obviously not well oriented and I can grab a hold of the folded dipole and really not affect the TV that bad. Digital TV. So it's just split right there. Go to the two TVs. That's it. And Whatever this uh, low-grade stuff they have playing on these uh, rewind channels.